Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to the best of the 30 days of sketches by Christie's Beautiful Life. And we're using this cute grid layout, it has a huge title, shows three photos, and that's what I'm going to end up using, and three embellishment clusters. <laughs> And the thing is, I just now noticed that, well, I was thinking to myself how well I stuck to the sketch, but I just noticed that my photos are in the opposite places. So, yeah, I, I didn't stick quite as good as I thought I did, but I did pretty good for me. I am using that photo play and some cardstock and that die there is one it's supposed to be a border for a, a card <laughs> so it's six inches long and i put it in the end so that i could do this whole thing i may not do that no more it was a lot harder to fussy cut around the bottom of that than usual because it kind of hang limp <laughs> it was all wimpy and yeah it was kind of hard to hold on to so i think next time i might just Put the two pieces together if i do this for a whole border this is my first time doing a whole border with it and i use the same teal cardstock that i've been using and over to the right i used a lighter blue well it's a greenish blue it does have a green tint because the paper in the background has a green tint but i love that dye other than the fact that you know i guess it's supposed to be a border on a card and i have yet to use it for that uh, my grandson Malachi is in the hospital in these photos and I had two already printed as three by fours and I had to cut them down to get them to fit on the grid here and I printed the one more and I was out of photo paper except for some real old stuff that I did not care for so when my other photo paper gets here <laughs> I'm gonna have to reprint it again because it's all fuzzy the reason being why that photo paper is just sitting there and not getting used but I tell myself maybe it's not as bad as I thought <laughs> and I did have a different printer when I bought it too so let me try it wrong it and the other one I printed on that 4x6 both are kind of on the blurry side and don't look near as sharp as the other two now the the sticker sheet that comes with this collection i'm not going to end up using it at all but i had this one over to the left and it is uh jelly bean soup and it's for a dog or a puppy i don't have neither <laughs> so i thought i'm gonna have to use these stickers here on something and i thought why well, it goes really well with this collection i'll stick it in there and i'm going to use several today i'm pretty proud of that I took that tag out and put twine in it and I did put a tiny bit of glue on the ends of the twine so it wouldn't ravel because that twine really ravels bad and I have to I have to do that or by the time it even makes it into the page protector is already raveling this these stickers oh my goodness I've had them so long I looked on there it said like 2010 or 11 I can't remember which it was and but I do know I've had them a long time and Malachi is my fifth grandson and I have pulled them out I don't know how many times to use on a boy layout and then end up making something or whatever and I thought well this is a grid layout I can make three cluster scenes quarter assignment kind of <laughs> I can't even talk kind of sort of and uh, use them and they're really cute they're foam and they are you know paper piece together so yeah they're really cute i am pulling a few stars and such off the of different ones to use somewhere else but mostly i'm leaving them as is now in the photos malachi is in the hospital he had to get tubes put in his ears and these photos were from before he got the tubes in there i have photos afterwards and he isn't near feeling like playing with toys but he is playing with toys in this one so i'm gonna go ahead and do it first and he's just a happy little camper sitting there playing not knowing what's coming next poor thing but he has felt a whole lot better since he got the tubes in his ears i 
put the remember and XOXO in the first one. And I may not have used the remember, but I wanted to use a little bit of orange in each one of the clusters. So the remember ended up going there with the XOXO and pointing to Malachi, the photo that's not quite as good. And then the next one is just a polka dot one and it is orange the arrow arrow i don't have another i don't have another phrase sticker to go there i have one above it that says play time and these are just adorable little stickers i and i really wanted to use them on something <laughs> and finally got to um but each time i kind of think they were small to use so i ended up making something maybe even similar but bigger and just freehanding it or using my punches or dies. And they're perfect for a grid layout though. And the last one, it says notes. So I put 2021 because it was in September. I don't remember the actual dates, but I thought maybe I would check and see and write them in there too. But for now, it's just 2021. I thought I wanted a little bit of all the colors that are being used in the little square with the photos. So I got out the diagonal paper and punched a tab. And I am going to put some words on there from Pretty Little Studio, their baby chat or something like that. So I will have something to put on there later. I just haven't got them yet. And those alphas laying over to the side, the Amy Tan ones, well, I changed my mind about them. I decided they did not go well enough with everything else on the layout for me to use them. So I got my diamond press dies out and die cut me some out. And my title is Hospital Park Toys with three exclamation points. And I am just going to use... That punch laying over to the right, it's one eighth inch punch, and make a colon there in between. This is my EK Success Star Punch, which is unfortunately discontinued. And I think I'm going to have to use some aluminum foil on it because it's not cutting quite as good as I would like to. There's like some rough edges on one side. If I used only red on here instead of using the other side with the green, it would have been okay, but I wanted some of the green on here. At first, I thought I would just use red, but the more I looked at the green, because, you know, I had to put the glue and the adhesive on the other side, and I had to look at it. I thought, man, I got to use some of that green on here. So you will see me scattering the green on here, too. But while I am doing that, I want to mention that down there below, you will see the link to... The playlist with all the videos that everybody's been gathering together and putting on there. And loads and loads of inspiration and talented, talented designers using the same sketch but putting their own twist on there. And like I said, I stuck pretty close. And yeah, I did. Uh, but uh, it was perfect. The sketch, the way it was, was perfect for me to go ahead and use those stickers and three of the photos from that day. These are those pretty little studio stickers and I'm starting at the top and the top one says uh, precious and then the middle one says adorable and then the last one little one precious adorable little one and I'm just going to Align them the way the tab is. So the ones on the right hand side go one direction and the one over on the left hand side the other direction. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's my layout. I had fun doing it and it was super quick. Yeah, I didn't have a whole lot of die cutting. I just had the title and the heart uh, border. Because most of what I used today was already made for me and adorable adorable just plain adorable oh and my squares are stitched squares so they are from a die so they'll all be the same size plus i use my punch for the stars i use a little more than i thought at first but the punch for the tabs so yeah i did use a few tools on this layout but aren't they cute i mean that Teddy bear, you can't beat it. it, is so sweet. 
But uh, if you leave a comment below, I'll try to get back to you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so very much. You know, I was wondering what that one little red thing was. It was attached to something else. I think it might be the bottom part of that saddle. I put it with the train. I might have to go in there and try it out on the saddle or look up on eBay to see what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I stuck it on there just in case I figured it out. But I hope you all have a happy scrappy week. Have fun with the playlist and try it out the sketches. Bye.